Here we're going to talk about how to use the Keywords tool within a Tube Atlas software. So to get there, all you have to do is just click on Keywords here within the uh, given tabs. So once you get to the Keywords, what you want to do is simply just enter in your seed keyword, for example, like dog, and go ahead and click Generate. And just like that, it'll pull back hundreds of related keywords to the word dog from the directly from the YouTube auto suggest engine. So I wanna explain where these keywords are coming from. Let me just quickly show you. If you go to YouTube and you start typing in the keyword dog, you will notice all of these suggestions coming down here. Now these are predictions. So YouTube is predicting the most possible uh, popular, the next popular keyword that you want to look at. So dog barking seems to be the most popular thing that people are searching for when searching for the word dog. But if you put a space and type the letter A, you get a whole bunch of keywords and then B and then C and so forth. And these are the most popular keywords that YouTube is predicting that you're looking for. So they have a very sophisticated algorithm to determine these things. So if you look at this little drop down here, technically the very most important keyword according to YouTube is this one right here, dog crying. Well, I give that a rank number one from this list. And it goes one, two, three, four. You kind of think of it like running in a race. So when you're number one, you're the best, right? So number one is the best. So that's where this comes from. That's where the keywords come from and also this rank number. So as you can see, when you put dog A in there, the first one that came up was dog anxiety music. So if we go back to YouTube and type in dog A, you will see dog anxiety music and that's where these keywords come from. In addition, you can see the number of words that are contained in the keyword and the number of characters. This helps for people that are looking for long tail keywords so you can easily sort your keyword list by um, you know, the character and length. So what you can do is you can take advantage of the quick filters at the very top. Just click this little search icon that you see and you'll see some filters that come up. It's a little window and you just simply select what you like or you can type in what you want here. I'll have a separate video that will show you how to use the filters, but I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. If you change the filter to say greater than 50, you can just go apply and it will do that, but there's no characters greater than 50 in there. To delete out the column filters, you can clear the filters here, or there's another button just down here, filters and then clear filters. That works as well. You can also search within the keyword just by typing and as you type, it will automatically filter for you. So the way that this works is the software will um, take the seed keyword and it will, and you have some search ranges here. The first option we did here, it just simply appends the alphabet from A to Z and zero to nine. And that's after the seed keyword. Now you can also select to do before the seed keyword and also before and after. So what I'm talking about here is when you, we did dog A, what if, what if we put the A at the beginning? You'll get a whole bunch of different words and say B and C. So if you wanna get even more keywords, you can do before and after. So if we just hit the clear button in the bottom right hand corner, that will clear out the data grid. We can click generate. And as you can see here, really quickly, it's putting the letters before and after, as well as the uh, numbers. Now, if you wanna take it one step further, there is one where you can do a double letter. Now, this takes a long time to do, but you can get a lot more keywords. I'll just show you a little bit here. So what it's doing, it's just appending two letters at a time. But you can see it has to go through 1,296 extractions in order to get all the keywords. But if you do it this way, you can see you're getting an incredible amount of keywords. So again, if you go back here and if you type in dog A, A, and then B, C, D, all the way through the alphabet and so on and so forth. And then you move on to B, A, then B, B. So it's just kind of two letters appended. Let's stop that there. But you can see we already got 1,554 keywords and it was only about a quarter way through. So you can see how many keywords you get. Pretty much unlimited number of keywords directly from YouTube. Pretty awesome. So go ahead and clear that out. Another feature that you can do in here, let's say you wanna look at multiple keywords. 
So if you want to do that, you just have to separate them by a comma. So if I want to do dog, comma, and then puppy, now I can go, I'm just going to select the seed after, click generate. So it will do both words. So it's doing dog right now, and now it's switched over to puppy. And now we have 500 keywords for those two. Another cool feature you can do is if you use the asterisk, so if I go dog asterisk toy, what will happen here is this will be overridden. So what will happen is none of this will work inside the search range. What will happen instead is the software will automatically just replace that asterisk with the alphabet. So let's go ahead and do it. And you can see here it's just putting the and it got 45 keywords where the actual alphabet was put in between there. So what am I talking about? If you go back here and you go dog A toy, you're gonna to get all those words, then B and C and so on and so forth. And this gives you just excellent set of keywords that you wouldn't have thought of. Like, a, you know, let's take a look here. A dog dog toy, well, that's not very good. <laughs> like dog chewing on toy. You know, things like that you wouldn't actually think of. Dog playing with toys. Those keywords could be really valuable when you're doing your marketing. A few other things you can do here. You can actually select the country that you would like to get the keywords from. Now there's some features when you right click. You could send corresponding keywords to uh, the trends tool or the video tool or the channel tool. You can also get search volume, which I'll show in a different video. You can also send selected keywords to the Keywords Everywhere tool. I'll show that in other videos as well, but Keywords Everywhere is a paid service. So a lot of my customers um, requested this, that they wanted to be able to use the Keywords Everywhere data. So if you have a, um, an account at Keywords Everywhere, then you can use the built-in tool and it goes through their API system. Again, that's a paid service. And in my opinion, it's probably the cheapest paid service you'll ever find for keyword research that's incredibly inexpensive. Anyhow, I'll have a video for that, but let's take a look at some other features down here. The checkboxes. In order to select checkboxes, you want to, you can use, when you, when you right click and you go checkboxes and you can access them here, or you can click the little checkbox up here in the first column and you get the same options. So. It's pretty self-explanatory here. If you want to select all checks for all rows, if you want to unselect checks for all rows, just for highlighted rows. So highlighted means when you see this little highlighted, it doesn't matter where you click within a row, that row is classified as highlighted. So if I go um, select highlighted rows, you'll see it gets there. If you hold down your control key on your keyboard, you can select multiple at a time, and then you can do select highlighted columns or rows, sorry. It does like that, and you can also unselect them. You can also access your filters. Now there's, I already showed you the quick filters, there's also the custom filters. You can load, or you can show your, your custom filters. Pretty self-explanatory, you can just select here the column that you want, the compare type you wanna do. You apply it and you're filter will be applied. You can save your filter files and stuff. Again, I'm gonna be showing this in a different video. I just wanna quickly show you this here. So I'm gonna go ahead and clear out the filters. Filters, clear. Now also when you right click, you also get access to the copy options here. Are pretty self-explanatory. But I do wanna say when you see the word selected in uh, capital letters there, what that means is when the check boxes are selected. So that's what that means so when you select the check boxes. So that's what it means when you see selected. And so if you go back to copy, I want to copy selected rows, let's say selected keywords to clipboard. So when you do that, and then you open up, you know, somewhere where you want to paste your keywords, you'll see those are the ones that we selected here. And when you copy, you can copy um, all the keywords to your clipboard. You can also do searches here. So if you right click and you search, and you say you go Google Trends, if you click that, what's gonna happen here is it'll automatically open up your web browser and show a five Google, up to five Google, or sorry, up to five 
keywords that are selected. Now, we also do have the Google Trends built into the software, so we'll get into that to another video, and that's where you can just send selected over to the Trends tool, but we'll do that in another video. So you can also do other things here. You can also search, um, you know, Google and Bing and Amazon, Etsy, whatever. Let's say, for example, you want to search Etsy, you just right click and do that, and it'll automatically search those selected keywords through Etsy. So it's kind of a handy little thing to have. Then you can right click, you do auto fit columns, reset columns, and you can also delete and remove duplicates and things like that. So pretty self explanatory. Now for file saving, it's quite quite simple just down at the bottom there you'll see that file button you can right click and you'll get access to a bunch of features so let's do that so you can go ahead and save to a project file let's do that so if I just save to a project file it just brings me up to the documents folder here I'm just going to create a new folder and just call it tube atlas saves or something like that whatever you want to call it it doesn't really matter and this is where you can I'm going to save my file and this is a Tube Atlas keywords file. So it can only be opened up using Keyword Atlas, um, sorry, not Keyword Atlas, sorry, Tube Atlas <laughs> keywords tool. So I kind of get a little mixed up. So if I go to clear out this data and I go file load, I can load this into Tube Atlas. Now you can also save to a common separated value file so I can Select that and click there. Now when you save a file on your computer, I made it really handy to get to where you last saved your file. By clicking file, you notice this here, open last working folder, and it'll open it up right inside your Windows Explorer so you can see where you just saved that file. That's pretty handy. So if I click that, you can now see the data that we just saved. You can save it to text file, you can copy as well and you can go to the install folder so pretty self-explanatory and that's basically how you use the keyword generated tool to uh, get you know hundreds if not thousands of keywords for whatever you want in the seed keyword um, when you put your seed keywords in there you just get hundreds and hundreds of really targeted keywords and what's really important is are these are coming directly from youtube in another video here, I will be showing you how to get search volume by using the free import tool as well as the keywords everywhere. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.